Today is Sunday, the 5th of April, 2020. This is one of a series of videos for Health One users relating to the new version of Health One. That's 8.7.1.2643 or 4445. In this video, we will see how to use Health Mail to send prescriptions to any pharmacy of the patient's choice. As you probably know by now, from Friday the 3rd of April 2020, it is legal to send your prescriptions to a pharmacy using health mail and only health mail. That means you do not need to print any paper for the moment. Here I have opened a patient file and I am going to print the prescription that I did today by clicking on the print button. And in this prescription, I have an option to send the prescription to the pharmacy by health mail. If you don't have this option when you're printing a prescription, then you need to go to Tools, Options, Prescription Manager here. And on the bottom right here, you'll see Email Prescription to Pharmacy. And you must tick this box. If you do that, when you print a prescription like that, you will see this screen here. So once you click on the send prescription to pharmacy, and you have to do that for every patient, you will have to nominate your pharmacy here, and you will have an email button here. So you first of all click on the three dots here to choose your pharmacy. And you may have no pharmacies defined here. If you have no pharmacies defined, you need to add them here by clicking on this Add Entry button, typing in the pharmacy name and the pharmacy email uh, address, and click on Secure Email there. All pharmacies have got health mail email addresses, all of which are secure. In my case, I already have, say, my pharmacies up there, and I send this one to myself rather than to a real pharmacy. And there's a little key here, which means this is a secure email. So I choose my pharmacy, and I will click on email. If you don't have this button here, you can just click on preview, which is a like printing, but it won't physically be printed. So click on email, and you'll directly get your email prescription ready. And all you have to do now is click on send. Health One will give you a message that the email has been successfully sent. And you will see in the patient's file a new item called email prescription. Who sent the email uh, and what email address you sent the email. If your health mail doesn't work and is not set up, you can set it up using tools, options, and internet. And it's a very easy thing to set up. Click on internet here and go down to configure health mail down at the bottom. Once you do that, you simply put in your health mail email address and your health mail password, which you get from the health mail people, either your personal one or your practice one. As you see here, the practice email will be used if there is no private email defined for the user up here. So if you define both, then the pharmacy will see the sender as being this email address, this person. If this isn't filled in, then the pharmacy will see this person as the person sending the email. Just click OK and everything else is done by Health One. It's a very simple thing to set up. Now let's get back to the prescription and start over. So I've got my prescription ready. I'm going to print the prescription. I'm going to send it to the pharmacy. As you can see here, Health One has remembered the pharmacy. But if I want to change it, if the uh, patient tells me to the different pharmacy, I can simply choose it again, another pharmacy by doing this. So I'm going to show you the email again. And what is written in this email is now the required information. 
uh, to send a prescription by email, by health mail. The date, the patient's name, and the patient's address, patient's GMS number, the drugs, all the drugs in it, and the GP's details. GP's GMS number, IMC number, and the GP address. Uh, the, GM, the GP GMS number isn't recorded in this particular one. The reason for that is that I'm logged in as admin admin, which doesn't ha who doesn't have a GMS number or an IMC number. I'm now logged in as myself as the doctor. Uh, you note when I click on the send here, and only when I click on it, the email button comes up here, and I can uh, send the email. And now you see my GP GMS number and IMC number is coming up here uh, and it's been taken from the user DB. I'm now going to prescribe a controlled drug for this patient. And as you can see in the controlled drug, I have the handwritten checkbox ticked. You can do this manually yourself or you can have Health One automatically tick all of your controlled drugs, uh, but that's not the subject of this particular section of the video. So once the handwritten is ticked, that one knows it's a hand, it's a controlled drug and it'll give you a little handwritten sign there. And now when I print this drug and email it, you will see that this is included in the email and that the oxycontin is written in uh, words and figures. And that is acceptable now. You do not have to physically write the control drug there, but you do have to put in the uh, words and figures. And you will get them included in the template normally if you click GMS controlled drugs, and that really should be made when you're physically printing it, your default for GMS and GMS DVCs at least, GMS controlled drug. I can, of course, edit this template here. That's the email template, which is here, by clicking on the three dots over here, edit template. And this is just a normal Health One template and you can put your own things in here. The ones that I, we are distributing is acceptable to the government at the moment for uh, sending email prescriptions. But you could edit it as you would edit any normal template, should you so wish, and save that. Now I'm going to show one way uh, to manage your prescriptions when you're sending them by health mail. So in our practice, we've created a new room called Prescriptions O'Driscoll. And these are down here, the rooms are down here at the end. And we display the, this particular room, which is a prescription room only. The secretary gets the phone call, uh, puts an appointment in here for a prescription. So every appointment in here is for a prescription, put as many as you like. And then she opens the file and does the prescription or the doctor does the prescription. This is done on the 4th of the 4th for this patient. And then she closes it and marks it as present. So when it's present, we know that the prescription is ready for printing. This one here has, is not present yet, so the secretary hasn't actually done the prescription. So the doctor then, in his own time, will open up the appointment for the prescription, he will see the prescription, and he can validate the prescription by opening it up, checking it, checking the patient file to see if this is what uh, needs to be done, and then send it by health mail again to the pharmacy, press email must choose my pharmacy. Let's say the pharmacy again is Rory O'Driscoll. Email it, don't print it. 
and you have another prescription here again with a controlled drug written correctly for the purpose of sending it and send it. The doctor has then finished. The email has been successfully sent. He can, if he wants to then click on this thing here, which says reviewed. This was last reviewed on the 27th of the 11th, 2017. So his prescriptions were now reviewed today. So if I exit the appointment, the uh, prescription mark, see that there's a record in the, in the transaction of the email having been sent and the fact that the medication has been reviewed and we can audit all of this stuff later on. I'm now finished with this patient. I can validate it and I'll mark it as done here. So these are all done. So when all the prescriptions are done, they'll all be green. I'm going to spend the next part of this video showing you how to set up these rooms and it's quite easy. So if you click on the configuration icon here, configure the appointments, you will see here that you can configure the appointment type, the users and rooms. In my case, we just did a room. I added a room and you can call it prescriptions. For example, you have a new room. I'll give it a color. Let's say I give it a, a turquoise color. Of type of appointment I can say uh, or not. I'd call it a prescription type of appointment. I can give it a Nikon or an avatar if I wish and click OK. Now if you click on your resources over here you will see you have a new room down here called prescriptions and you can display this here for example and then you can click on save the current view that's rod practice save that and you can make that the default such that the next time you open your appointments module uh, this particular thing will be visible and you can move this prescriptions around should you so wish so that's how to set up a room should you so wish I'm going to spend the next part of this video showing you how to tag controlled drugs as being handwritten drugs with this thing here so that they'll print correctly. So you can do it easily by just print, uh, choosing a drug and ticking the handwritten sign, but that's only for one drug. If you want to do it for multiple drugs at the same time, you should go to the uh, prescription module click this button filter drugs on ATC code and you get a list of ATC codes here and you see here the nervous system analgesics opioid analgesics so if you go to N02A you will display all your opioids here either in the list or the generic list and you can click on prescription, update the handwritten module or attribute for every single one of these drugs in one go. You can set that, and in this case it's for 207 drugs. And I've clicked on that. Now it may happen uh, that some drugs uh, who are opioids don't need to be handwritten. And that may be true, for example, if I get rid of the filter there, for uh, tramadol. So if I typed tramadol in my generic list, like so, and I get all my tramadol containing drugs, I can click on prescription, update the handwritten attribute and unset for those particular lot, 22 drugs. So now any time that I prescribe a controlled drug I will get it will be automatically ticked for handwritten let's say I want to prescribe Alexia 50 milligrams it will automatically be ticked here so health one will know or 75 milligrams they'll all be tagged as being handwritten if you see down on the bottom there to summarize with this version of health one 8.7.12643 and greater versions, we're able to send prescriptions 
by health mail to the pharmacy without printing any paper. Now the functionality, most of the functionality of this has been available in, for several years. We have improved it, however, somewhat by including the email button here. Even if you didn't have the email button, you could just uh, click on preview, which doesn't physically print the prescription and escape out of the preview and you'll, be, you'll get an email as well. So you don't physically have to print it anyway. But the easiest thing to do is simply to click on the email button. The email button doesn't become available until you tick send prescription to pharmacy. So that's new. Also, we have a new template which contains all the relevant information and you can edit the template by clicking on this button and put in other stuff if you so wish. And that's the end of this recording. Thank you.